show. It's a beautiful day, and this time, it's not that crowded at the convention center. That's the good thing about coming in early and on a day of the week where there's no one really here. So we're going to do a few things, look at a few cars, and give you our thoughts about it. Anything you want to see hang first? No, I'm all good. So we'll just look around. I'm not much of a car person myself. It's just the experience of it all. Actually, very nice, very nice ride. How much? Uh, how much is it? Almost fifty thousand. Fifty thousand? Yeah. This one's, uh, the higher end model says it's the most expensive. Fifty-five without the navi. What's that? Without navigation? This one does not have navigation. Then if you wanted to get all the uh, fully loaded package, it's mm -hmm. about fifty. today is how far we take it so let's go places and find out first place we're gonna head to <laughs> oop your doors open oh I'm sorry oh, not your fault there you go all right Henry Hudson Parkway this is where we get to check out the performance and acceleration We've got 194 Ooh. horsepower to help get us from 0 to 60 in 8.1 seconds we're not quite gonna go that fast here oh, because God. I know <laughs> Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> we do have a speed limit to consider though, so we have to make sure we stay within it. Safety first. All right, we're able to deliver that level of performance while still delivering up to 34 miles per gallon in the city and up to 33 miles per gallon of combined fuel economy. We have a new camera system at work as well, one in the front, one in the rear, and one on each of our side mirrors. It works together with our sonar system. So you can see where the beeps are coming from, not just hear them. When I put it in park, we expand the functionality of our camera system so we can look from the interior out as well as get a dynamic 3D view, a full 360 degrees around the uh, RAV4. Is that in real time? Yep. We can pause this Ooh. and look around the vehicle uh, anywhere we want. The vehicle itself is 3D image rendered, but the camera is, the view is generated much like you'd stitch together a panoramic shot cell phone. All right, here's where I have to say, please do not try to see the wheel. Mm -hmm. Starting to turn because I turned it over. Uh, please don't try this at home. 
make sure to use your mirrors, your windows, you know, everything, the camera system, everything available, stay safe. For the sake of demonstration, I'm gonna keep my eyes focused right down here at the camera system. Guidelines show we're good to exit there. We're gonna go ahead and line up with the cones behind us, and as soon as we do, we're going to accelerate. And then hop back on the brakes and dive right on into this cove behind us. The reason we do this, we want to show you the camera system works in real time with no delays. We can even zoom in back here and see just how close we're able to get. So you can see we're closer on the left side and have a bit more of a gap on the right side. So that'll make it nice and useful for navigating around tight spots, parking garages, parallel parking, all that sort of thing. We can even use it as we head up to Bear Mountain uh, to see where we're ending up. Oh. Could be mud, ice, snow, big metal steel rollers. We can zoom in right here and make sure that we get that front wheel parked directly on top. All right, there we go. So now when I take my foot off the brake, the all-wheel drive system with intelligence kicks in and propels us right on out of that slippery situation. If towing's on the agenda, you can tow up to 1,500 pounds with the pure gasoline version or up to 1,750 pounds with the hybrid because you get increased towing from the uh, uh, added torque in the electric motors. All right, we can take an approach angle of up to 28 degrees straight on, but this is more than 28 degrees. So we're gonna come at it at an angle, start to float the rear right wheel off the ground. Yep, right about there in our front left wheel. Now we're gonna go ahead and start to make our way down the side of this berm. Get way up in the air here. There we go. Now we're to the end. We have a 21 degree angle of departure. Wow. If you remember, that's less than our angle of approach. So we're gonna use up some of our seven inches of ground clearance on the hybrid to make our way down without crushing in the side of the body. All right, there we go. <clears throat> this is where we can show you our hill start assist control as we make our way up our log ramp. Just kidding, it's not a ramp, it's teeter-totter, we're not really gonna move. All right, basically what hill start assist control is, is a fancy way of saying if I take my foot off the brake, I have plenty of time to get over to the accelerator before oh. we start rolling backwards. Yeah, that's great. All right, now I'm gonna get my other foot in line here to two-foot it because it keeps you from rolling back, but we don't wanna stop right. you from going forward when you take the foot off the brake, so. Time to head back into the city. This is where we get to talk about TSS, that is Toyota Safety Sense. Toyota Safety Sense delivers a lot of useful features like dynamic radar cruise control, as well as lane departure alert with steering assist. You get automatic high beams and you even get a pre-collision system with pedestrian detection. Now, if you saw the Yankees and Mets badged up uh, RAV4s there, mm -hmm. we are proud partners of these two sporting teams, and we're giving away a pair of tickets every single day here at the New York Auto Show. Because you came and took a ride with us, you guys are automatically entered in for your chance to win today's tickets. It's our way of saying thank you for visiting us here at Toyota. Thank you guys you. have any questions? No, it was actually very nice. Actually, thank you. What is the mileage of the 34 city, 33 combined, and 31 highway. And how much do you think I like this thing? I mean, this model. All right, so I have to give you all three. Uh, okay. Base price is, and I use the word about because it's going to change where you go. So if a manufacturer suggests a retail price, you're going to sit right around 23 for a starting point, right around 33 for the start on a hybrid. And this exact one is right around 36. Oh, okay. So, and that's with the terracotta. Nice, I know. I like it, yeah. Thank you. <laughs>
Now this one, Ying, what do you think of this one? Is this? This is my kind of car. The S5 Audi, Audi S5. Okay. Does this cost a little bit more or less than the other one, you think? What do you reckon? I think the other one is, the other one is more, I forget. Thank you. when the future is a hoverboard. What do you think of that? Is that really a hoverboard or is that connected yeah. to something? That can't be right. The technology the technology's not there yet. Oh wait, wait, there's a piece of plastic underneath, that's why it looks like that. this
keyboard? Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. I personally like these. These are the toy cars, I swear. Yeah, but... It's not economical if you're in the city. Not very well, safe, it is. Though. It's not economical, but it's cheap, it's small to the point. No, oh, such a cute little glove car. When you think about it, it's very cramped in here. Well, it's not, not like some really. of the I actually don't think it's crap. Maybe because the seat is up all the way on my side. Mm, still. This is the boots right here. Look how small it is. In terms of it being wide? It's like...
and an actor to drive around while you're there. We'll be able to get on this year. Over in the other corner, we have our 54. They all qualify for a $7,500 federal tax credit. Oh. Excellent acceleration. Nice handling, real tight in the corners. 0 to 16 in about 7 seconds. 0 to 25, one of the fastest vehicles we make for North America. So this is the clean air concept. So we are 
welcome back. Nice. Thanks Very for letting nice. me introduce you to the I3. Thank you. Thank you. My pleasure. Yes, the competition. So you are familiar then with that immediate response acceleration. As soon as we hit the gas pedal, it's going on our response. Because it's just an electric pulse. Um, so we also have no transmission. There's no shifting, so it's really, really smooth. Very really quiet. Um, and the lead Than that. You can get closer to 130 or so, just depending on how you're driving, where you're driving, um, if you're using your AC full blast, heat full blast, um, if you're stuck in the all that. Um, all those variables contribute to your range. Um, and we also have um, on our navigation, you'll be able to locate all the nearest parking stations where you're at. Like, if you notice, we have a miles left per charge. And if you notice that you're getting a little bit lower, it'll give you a warning and then it will direct you to the nearest parking station. Is there like a gas station that actually has a parking station? So, um, not necessarily gas stations, some do, some gas stations do. However, um, see these charging stations? Yes. So we're mostly through, almost through, with the um, New York uh, International Auto Show. Uh, it's actually been pretty good, mostly because we came on a weekday and it's not crowded. People are actually starting to leave right now. Yes. So we were looking at some of the cars. What's the car that caught your attention? Uh, it was the BMW i3, the electric car. Yeah, electric to, uh, there's a tax credit. Yeah. They were mentioning that during one of the test rides. I like the, the little mini cars. That's one I like right now. So far, that's my favorite. I think that'll be- We're gonna be see more mini cars, the Fiat and the Mini Coopers. It's, it's economical. I mean, if you're gonna use gas, if you're in the city, if you're in a crowded place, you can't, you can't have a gas guzzler, you can't have a big car. You need something, something that you can afford because, okay, gas, you know? But if you have kids and stuff, you need a bigger car. Okay, fine. If you have circumstances or conditions, fine, you get a little bit more. But most people, you can't do a car like that. And we've seen uh, some big cars. I've shown, we've recorded some big cars. And it would be hard to find parking spots for some of those. Uh, that's something that I can already say.
course, it's a little bit different. Is this automatic? The WRX automatic? No way! It is! Wow! It used to be manual transmission. Believe it or not, I was able to sit in the back, even though it's pretty tight. Yeah, small car, small budget.
to the end of the New York International Auto Show for us. We're about to go now. We saw a lot. We did a lot. And uh, what was your favorite thing of the auto show? Uh, there's actually a lot of virtual reality. Yeah, it's like a thing with that. I mean, it gives you a better chance maybe to see the car that you would want to buy, but get in the car touch it, feel it on your own. Don't use a simulation for that. I don't know. I like it. It's I mean, fun. It's okay. I mean, that's how things are going to be done in the future. We saw a lot of cars which were hybrids and electric cars. We were talking about that. It's like, that's, I, that's the future. That's kind of been done already. Uh, but that's what we saw. We hope you had a good time watching because it turned out to be better than I thought. I, I had a lot of mixed feelings about doing a convention again because I, I let some feel. I spoke about some feelings. I let some feelings out during the Comic Con, and um, yeah, it's good to go in the middle of the week, go early. It's crowded, but not too crowded. That's the whole thing. That's my final thoughts about going to a smaller, quote, smaller convention. That's it. Yeah, that's it. So we'll see you next time.